All right, today we're just going to be doing a quick update on that video you probably just saw with Nintendo Wii Online. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a longer form for people who had trouble following that super fast video. You guys can be honest. What do you think of the shortened down tutorials? I mainly did just to promote this video, but hopefully it wasn't too uh, obnoxious. But anyway, um, just for a little bit more background, uh, the Wii Online replacement service does not support every game. Let's take a look at the compatibility list real quick. Here's a list of the games that work, and it says like if there's any issues like region locking or whatever. Uh, there's some games that only partially work. Uh, and there's also one other thing I should notice I really didn't have time for the other video is not all the games are actually populated. So, for example, if you uncheck this box, I'll have links to this list and then this list down in the description. Uh, if you only show populated games, as you'll see, three people online for Strikers, 300 people online for Mario Kart Wii, that's why I got a lot of footage from that, because Mario Kart Wii is really popular, uh, Metroid Prime Hunters for the DS, I'll do a DS video later, but as you can see here, Smash Bros. Brawl, three people online, uh, it's going to be hard to kind of find, it's probably going to be a little hard to find a game in most of these, but if you just want to play Mario Kart, if you just want to play some Smash Bros., or if you know other people who are willing to play with you, uh, this solution is actually pretty good. And again, you can run this on a completely on a modified Wii. Let me show you right now. This Wii is almost brand new, or refurbished from GameStop. There's no homebrew on it. I haven't used it for anything other than the other video. Um, so what I'm going to do real quick is show you how to set it up. So like I said before in the other video, it's super easy. Um, the default method only supports Mario, Sma Mario Kart, Smash Bros., and a few other games. But I'll show you that one first. Uh, the main advantage to using this quick method is... Once you do it once, you're pretty much set for life. You can anytime just plop in your Mario Kart disc, and you're pretty much just ready to go. No tweaking settings, no adjusting anything. You're just pretty much there and done. Also, if you have a classic controller, hook it up to your Wiimote. It makes it much easier to navigate these menus, in my opinion. Anyway, go to your normal Wi-Fi. If you don't have one, you can just click here to set it up. Then just click wireless or wired, and then you can scan for your Wi-Fi access point if you need. But we're not going to do that. We already have an access point set up. But this is how you do it if you didn't actually have a Wi-Fi set up. So this works for Wi-Fi and wired connection. As long as the Wii supports it, this will work just fine. Once your connection is set up, click on it. Go to change settings. And then go, uh, you can press Z, uh, R or L to switch tabs. Or you can just click these arrows over here. And once you get to the tab, let's say auto-obtain DNS, you want to change this to no. And then once you're there, an advanced settings option will pop up. Click on that. And then here's where we'll be able to access, enter our DNS settings. Basically, what these do is it redirects uh, our Nintendo Wii. Instead of going to try and search for the original Nintendo servers that have been shut down a long time ago, this will have them instead go to the, uh, the fan servers. And again, this does not modify anything on your Wii. These are just network settings. It's just basically telling it to use a different uh, address. So you don't have to worry about like any homebrew or weird stuff or your Wii getting bricked. This shouldn't touch any of that. Once you save this once, you can play Mario Kart or Smash Bros. online anytime you want. Um, and it will just boot up just fine and it will work. No more settings required. Just boot the game. Um, and then you save it and then you're done. Uh, the advantage to the other method I was showing you was that's how you get a full compatibility list. That's how you get things like Deca Sports and a whole bunch of other stuff like Fortune Street I played before. Once you have all that, um, once you use the, the slower method, you'll unlock all the full games, the full compatibility list. And no, we do not want to do a connection test. Alright, so that's how you set it up now. You could go ahead and boot up Mario Kart right now, but I'm going to show you how to do the slower method. The disadvantage of this method, as I said before, is every time you want to play a game online, you're going to have to go back to that uh, Terms and Service, and you're going to have to click on that. Um, but the advantage, and it also takes longer to load, but the advantage is, is a whole lot more online games will work. So it's one more step every time you want to play the game, but I think the trade-offs are worth it. All right, and I'll say this. So yeah, basically you just want to have this exact same numbers as I typed in right here. 95, 217, 077, 181, and then you're done. And just like with the first method, you don't have to change these DNS settings ever again. Those are set. But like I said before, unlike the DNS, the quick DNS method, every time you want to play a game, first thing you do, pop in your disk. Second thing, come back to network settings. It's going to ask if we want to do a test. No. All right, and then the settings part is done. Like with the other method, the quick DNS method, we never have to go and change our network settings ever again. We're done with that step. But unlike the quick DNS method, every time we want to launch our game, since our Wii's not modded, 
we have to come back to the internet settings and click on user agreements. And then we gotta click on yes. And again, every time you restart your Wii, you have to do this. So it's a bit of a hassle, but hey, how often do you wanna play your Wii games online? This is like a once in a while thing. Then click next. Wait for it to connect to the internet. All right, and here we go. It says, this will take one to two minutes. Do not press any of the buttons below. So you can just kind of hang out here, spin around your cursor, just don't click on anything. Uh, if you click on somewhere here, your mouse cursor will freeze, but don't freak out, it's perfectly fine. Basically, this is essentially temp temporarily patching your system's memory so it will be able to play the games online. This doesn't mess up your system files or anything. This is, as far as I've seen so far, this is perfectly safe. This is not installing any mods on your system. That is why every time you restart your Wii, you have to run this little ULIF thing again. So it's not installing anything. It's just a completely temporary patch. Kind of like Project M. I don't know if you guys have used that. Project M doesn't modify your uh, Nintendo Wii. All it does is just load in a little bit of code. And once you turn off your Wii, Project M's gone. So it's very much like that. You just got to sit around for one or two minutes and wait. And then you'll see the spooky text, and then we'll be ready to go. And there's a spooky text, and now it says loading disk. Uh, if, you're di if you forgot to put your disk in, you can just pop it in now, and it'll start up. But other than that, it should load up our disk, and then we should be ready for Mario Kart Online. Alright, now if we go to Nintendo Wi-Fi Connection, it starts up. All right, and it just already found us a match. We are online playing Mario Kart Wii on an unmodified Nintendo Wii. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Hopefully the other one, like I said before, wasn't too distracting with how fast it was. Uh, I'm probably not going to do a lot more of those super fast speed run, as I joked, uh, speed run tutorials. But I thought this was a pretty cool process to get your Wii online. Super easy, no mods required. So like I said, if you want to play Mario Kart Wii online with your friends again, um, you don't, they don't have to modify anything, just say change your DNS settings, you can send them this video, send them the fast video, either one's fine. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.